I just want to ask, first of all, because, you know, I, I have read quite a bit about your, you know, career going to study and act in China and then coming back to Canada for this show particularly. Um, mm -hmm. I just wanted to know, first of all, like, um, were you looking for a lot of jobs in, in the US or in Canada or was it this particular role um, that was the, the one that kind of made you want to come back? So um, that's an excellent question. So I was actually not thinking about the US market just mm. yet. Um, I felt like um, I, I didn't feel, I didn't think that this could be an option for me at that time. Um, but since the pandemic happened, um, it made me rethink a lot about, you know, what I, what I was doing and, um, I don't know. I, I was actually at a point where I was like, oh, like I wasn't getting a lot of jobs in China as well because mm -hmm. of the pandemic. You know? And I was just, you know, trying to broaden my opportunities. So um, after that, after the pandemic happened, I reached out to a manager in uh, Vancouver, um, Andrew, who was really nice. And um, he gave me opportunities to like audition and all. And um, for Kung Fu, like when I did read her character description, I was like, I was like, oh, this is, this sounds really interesting. Cause like, um, I feel like in real life as well, like I'm, I can be, you know, I have a hard shell, but like mm -hmm. inside, like I'm very vulnerable. So <laughs> I felt like that was very organic to who I was as a person. Mm -hmm. So um, I auditioned for it, but I, I, you know, whenever I do audition, I never expect anything back because I feel like that's something that unfortunately actors we can't we don't have the luxury to do that um so yeah I mean I, I just kind of just auditioned I was like okay well I did it uh, I have to say bye to it now because I can't expect anything um but thankfully um they reached out to me again for a callback and then yeah here I am now it's crazy yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it happened <laughs> and how did you feel about the first season of Kung Fu when you binged it to uh, catch up on on being on yeah. the show? What was your, as a viewer, like how did you, uh, you know, you can be as detailed or as brief as you want, but how did you respond to the show? Um, so the first thing I noticed was like there's so many action scenes and like that was giving me like, I was getting really nervous because it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like I oh man like I, I've trained before but like I'm not that good like I don't know if I can do this um but otherwise like watching the, the whole cast do their whole thing like I feel like it definitely made me more nervous for the audition because like I saw how professional everything was uh, and I saw like the standard that they wanted actors to be at um so yeah I, I feel like it, it definitely it definitely like made me more nervous and um, made me, you know, want to do my best that I could so I could be part of the show as well. Mm. And yeah, so yeah, definitely. Like I, I thought season one was great. Uh, and I think season two is great as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think that you, over the trajectory of, of filming the first season in Vancouver, I uh, have uh, changed a lot as an actor or, or, or you know, that that how 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 is that kind of experience the trajectory of filming the the well season two first season for you yeah um looking back like do you feel differently now about you know your your work or how do you think it went over the over the course of the season coming to mm -hmm. Vancouver I feel like my my performance definitely got better um because when I was first filming um I actually never did a, a role in uh having to speak English so right I didn't know that that would be something that I would like I would be worried about because in China like it was all in Chinese and then mm -hmm. um going back here I had to do in English but it, it's my mother tongue but I but it took me like a while to like tune into that again um but then after like I got rid of like the jitters and like the nervousness I was really able to tune in into the character and then um I do feel like as the season goes on, I'm much more stable and I, I'm much more secure in myself. Um, and I, I hope that can be seen in my performance as well. well so, yeah. That's a very nice parallel. I think, you know, it's probably, you know, your some of your displacement coming to film in Vancouver probably helped with Mia's 
displacement in the real world. So do you want to tell me a bit about that whole like yeah. her being basically like a little alien from the cabin? Yeah. You know, like oh, no. absolutely. Um, because I was actually I was in quarantine um when they flew me into Vancouver, right? So, you know, I was just in my hotel room, like, you know, I have too much time on my hands. So what do I do? I think too much, right? So I'm just thinking like what if, what if people don't like me like what what if like what if this is like a bad idea like what if, what if I don't belong like so all these were like great like this 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 is exactly what I needed to like kind of like not feel like I was part of anything um so yeah I feel like that was a good like part to like add to me as like awkwardness and like not being able to like um be inclusive in like the group and the family um but then after that like that wasn't enough just to like add depth to her like it was important for her to like remember like oh like why is she doing the thing she's doing like what happened to her like how does that affect her today mm. so yeah it, it definitely helped though like that quarantine I, I loved it <laughs> like, yeah. that's really cool yeah that, yeah that's really cool um I mean it's you know a unique situation I suppose yeah <laughs> 